I used the most in 2022? This wallet that houses my money, my car, my house. everybody and welcome back to ages how you Ed. it is a new year and my birthday month so i will be turning 59 now this year is important why is it important because the 60 is right behind it the 60 is right behind it you heard it from here my birthday month so wish me happy birthday each and every time I put out a video. So we're going to talk about my 2022 newest, greatest, I don't do no worse, any, I don't do that. I'm starting off 2023 right. I only want to talk about the good things. So let's talk about it. Let's get down. Now you see, I put Amazon in the thing big and bold because I bought, I can say 80% of everything I bought in, whether it's for my home, for me, for someone else, was bought on Amazon. 80%. So let's talk about it. All right. So let's do household first now some things i can show you some things i'm just going to show you the amazon picture so you can get it yourself because you really need to get into some of these things so the first thing i'm going to talk about is home security now you know i'm a lady that lives for herself right so i need home security so i have an outdoor camera and it's here um, you know, I have it pointed. I didn't get a doorbell or anything because, you know, I live in a complex. I don't own this property. So I don't want to do anything that has to do with changing anything of theirs. So I didn't want to do a doorbell. Um, so I did a mounted and outdoor camera and it's pointed to my door all the way down to the ground so that I can see my packages when they hear. I can see, you know, anybody at my door. I can talk to them when they at my door. So that's what I got for outdoors. Yes. For indoor, I love this indoor camera. So my outdoor one is oldest thing I got for 2022. And of course, most use. The newest thing, because I'm gonna tell y'all old, or most used in 2022 and anything that I got new that is the op, you know the opposite of it or the same thing but I got it new so the indoor camera is the newest camera but by far I love this camera this camera motion detection um whether it's movement or verbal uh, you know, or noise. I can't, why did I say verbal? Noise or person. And it follows the, 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 uh, person or anything because for two days it followed this moth that only came out at night. And I got so tired of that thing going off because every time that moth moved, it moved with that moth. I, of course, also this year decided to purchase me, and I'm not going to show it to you, but I decided to purchase purchase me a firearm. Because there's a lot of people with firearms, honey, so you got to get with the program. I'm not trying to use it. I don't want to ever touch it. I, uh, But I will. My son taught me how to load it, and later on, I'm going to go to the range uh, to learn how to properly use it so I won't hurt myself. It's nothing big. It's, it is a handgun, and he showed me how to load it, and it's off safety. So all I got to do is pow, 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 because if you come to grandma's house, you come to hurt grandma. Okay, I'm just a lady. Thank you. So let's talk about some of the most used things. So one of the most used things as far as household is my little steam iron. 
Hey, little baby. It's a little baby. It's a little baby's theme. I, uh, I love this thing. Um, I got it, of course, right here. Got it from Amazon. And I use this mostly. I use because I have a very good iron. That arm iron. Iron. I got a good iron that has steam that uses steam too. So, but this right here I use on very delicate, small corner things. Cause you know, an iron is kind of big. So I use this for delicate things like that. And I do a lot of patchwork on clothes that, um, you know, that, uh, I get stain. If you get a stain on something and you know, it's not coming out. Okay. So for instance, this dress right here, I got, uh, I don't know how, it something blue bled on it and that i even tried to whiten it and everything and that spot did not come out and i was like you know what i'm not getting rid of this so i put a patch over it you know i want to keep my clothes i want to keep my clothes so my urn oh you know i had to write everything down so what else um i got a new shower head it's bigger than it's it's so huge <laughs> it's huge, but I wanted one that came off that I could, uh, cause I felt like, I don't know if anybody else feel this way, but I don't, it started to feel like, okay, am I getting there where I need to get to clean? I don't know if that makes sense. So I wanted one that was removable that I could really get in everywhere. So my new shower head is new. Uh, I told y'all about my wireless charger that I have used a lot. Here it is. I told y'all about that in one of my videos. It does your phone. It, it is for the iPhone. It does your phone. It does your, um, your iPad pen and it does your watch. So I use that at work. So it goes in my travel bag, my bag that I use for work because now I don't have to worry about bringing my charger and all that. And it will charge everything in case I forget. So that is definitely one of my most used. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, oh, um, yeah. So that's all for household. Let's talk about fashion. Okay. So um, most used shoes. Now, when I thought about the most used shoes, I was thinking about, okay, well, I wear my slides everywhere, but that's to me is not, I didn't want, I wanted something that I took most of my pictures, a lot of things with it. Um, and I use these orange shoes platforms that I got from Amazon. I wore these a lot. I haven't put them on for a winter picture, but I am. Uh, but I did wear these a lot. I got my money worth out of them already. So those I'm going to say for shoes. But the newest shoes I got in that I'm so happy about that I squeezed in for 2022 is these gold Zara boots that I got from a reseller. Um... And I kept looking for these boots on Zara all the time. And they were always sold out. And on Zara, they were, I believe, uh, they were 100 and something when they came out. Like 149 or something. I don't know. Then they went down to 90 in the store. But you had to be, I don't have a Zara near me. They went on sale for 99 and the lady sold them for 45 So, Got my Zara boots. Never been worn. Yes. So these are the newest thing that I squeezed in that I've been looking for that I am happy about. And I got them in 2022. Okay. So let's talk about hats. My most worn hat was this Amazon hat. So you see why I put Amazon in big bold. Because the most thing I've gotten wear out of or used is an Amazon product. It's just that simple. This black hat, every time I went to the store, did not want to do nothing to my head, didn't care, but still put this on, some lip gloss and some earrings. 
you never would have known. This black hat. When I tell you, most use got my money out. Hat I purchased and got at the end of 2022. This vintage hat with the feather. Pure 100% vintage. Look at that feather. Look at the detail. This is gorgeous. Real feather. Vintage hat. Um, what else new? Um, oh, I should have did this under, I guess you could do it on the electronic house. I got me a new iPad, um, holder. I just love it. It's got a queen, uh, um, a crown on it for me. I'm the queen. And look at the white and it's got the gold. It just looks so cute. So while I'm taking a picture of something. I can have my little iPad. Okay, so just holding this up here is not doing it justice. It it just it just isn't. It isn't. This is a handmade tapestry blazer. So I like I said, I don't know if you can see the animals and stuff that's in it, that's on it. These are the buttons. These are the buttons. So it's got jeweled buttons going all the way down. And you could see, like I said, it is handmade tapestry. This is not just a regular old, oh, it's just a regular old blazer. No, honey. The tapestry is real. Someone took their time and made this. But you have to be a vintage lover to understand this blazer. But that is one of my greatest vintage finds. That and that hat that I got um, in 2022. Um, let's talk about jewelry. So let's talk brooches. My most used brooch was this one. This is my most used brooch. It's got the gem in the middle. And boy, I could use this for so many things. Here, put it on the top of it. Um, instead of a, like, you know how you have a button down? You can put it there. You can put it on a blazer. You could, this is everything. I, If I wanted to, I can put it here. Do what you want. Do what you want. So that's my most, let me let me show it to you again because you really need to see it. That's my most used brooch. My newest brooch. I got it off a of live sale. Look at this brooch. Look at the details. Look at the details in it. is huge uh, and look at the the um i don't know what kind of i don't know if it's a amethyst or what but it, you see it's got all the beautiful brown um i just wish i could describe it but you see it and look it's wood you see it is this not beautiful? So that's my newest brooch. Most used earrings. These earrings I got from Aldo's. Yes, and I'm talking Aldo's shoes. Mm, I dropped one, but you know what I'm talking about. These right here. The black and white and the gold Medusa head. I get so many compliments Let me see if I can, there you go. so many compliments on these earrings when i wear them so many newest these vintage clip on earrings 
this is my newest earring and they are clip-ons i can't even tell they're on so they're not heavy i can't even tell they're on i keep thinking they're going to slip off i'm so scared to wear my clip-ons outside the house because i'm so scared i'm gonna drop one but they they are bigger so and i have little ears but these are my newest Okay, so uh, let's move on. Let me see, make sure I got everything. Uh, oh, something else for the house. Since I'm going into perfumes, fragrances. My humidifier right here. You know I get sample perfumes or fragrances. Um, and I put them in my humidifier. When I say my downstairs... I had one for up, one for down. I don't know how my upstairs one broke. But when I tell you smells delicious, those samples you get or perfumes that you don't like the smell of it, like I told you how I felt about that Zara uh, Discovery Kit that I got. You know, I told you about it, right? And I didn't really like none of the perfumes, but one of them. Those fragrances are in my humidifier. The way they smell outside of my skin and me using it smells so different in my humidifier. I don't understand it. Every one of them smell delicious. So my humidifier. And of course, I got it from Amazon. So let's go ahead and talk about fragrances. My most used fragrances, I have two. My one for work is my Lady Dior Absolute Blooming. This is the one. Hold on. This is the one that I use for work. It's soft. Isn't very much an everyday scent. Won't overpower anybody. My most used night. And one of my absolute favorites now. Hope you can see it. Is my, uh, I want to make sure I give you the right. Instant Crush by Mansiri. Mansira? I don't know. But here it is. Uh, this right here, honey. Woo! So delicious and it pairs with so many things and don't forget to look out for once a month i'm not gonna say once a month every chance i can get because it's not a lot of discovery sets i noticed that um i'm gonna try to do a discovery set at least once a month or once every couple of months i already have the newest one coming for january all right so let's get into um uh, beauty. These two are the most used lip glosses and moisturizer. My Dior, um, what is this one? This one is called the Dior Lip Oil. Sorry, I'm sorry. Worth every dime, and you know it ain't cheap. Worth every freaking dime. Look at that. I didn't kill that. And my Fenty uh, lip gloss. This one is is in, what's this color called? Uh, uh, hot chocolate. You can't tell, but this is just as used. My Fenty hot chocolate. And I have it on now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> most used will never go without those two eyeshadows number one most used because it goes with everything is my Christian Louboutin Christian Louboutin yeah um eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow and the What's the, what's the, uh, nude matte, matte nude. 
this right here, this color. When this run out, I will be getting more. And I will be getting more of these. I'm going to try it again because I bought this to try it, but it's been lasting me. Uh, I use this, even though I think I got it in 2021, this was my most used eyeshadow in 2022 because it is it is so good with pairing with anything. And when you want just a basic going to work, this. I'm so glad I purchased this. Um, I've already told you my newest fragrances. Um, so you can look at that video. I just wanted to show you my two favorite ones. Uh, let me see if it's anything else, guys. Um, oh, my favorite thing I bought as far as something to wear that I think that I look so pretty in that... Um, I didn't think I could wear any type of bodycon dress was this Zara dress. So I'm putting me wearing it right here. Um, I put that as my, when I was doing my 25 days of pictures on Instagram, I put that as my 24th new year's look. Uh, I mean, not new year's, uh, Christmas Eve look. I, when I tell you, I've already put the other ones in my basket for Zara. I'm just hoping that it go down because I got this one on the sale. I'm not trying to find full play, pay full price for it. You know, I have a belly and I swear I don't have on no shape wear anything when I have that dress on. And I was so shocked how it hides your tummy. Yes. Um, and my most used tennis shoes you see me wearing them there. They are my my most used tennis shoes is my uh, Converse. They are the jean Converse. They have the jean material. They do. These are limited. I buy a lot of their limited edition. So they do not have these anymore unless they come back out with them so my this is my most used shoe as far as tennis shoes so guys that is it i just wanted to stop past and say happy new year and i'm glad to that you've come back and i hope that um you know i get more people seeing my videos um so grandma maybe can get a little more you know exposure I'm just me, honey. That's it. Uh, guys, let's make 2023 that year. Let's do that. All right. And as usual, let's go ahead and do our devotion of the day. I'm glad you stayed with me. This is our first one of 2023. Old age. Let's talk about it. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will still bear fruit at an old age. That's Psalms 92, 12. That means just because you're getting older does not mean you will not flourish. Why do we think that once we get a certain age, it's over, it's done, it's... It's not over and done, honey. You may start now in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. I can flourish now and still got plenty of years to enjoy any flourishment. Hmm. Children, children of God are often compared with trees in scripture. Trees have a root system. They have branches and often bear fruit. In addition, trees don't necessarily weaken with age. In fact, many trees become stronger as they age. While our human body ages, while our human body ages, there comes a point when it is no longer growing stronger. However, that is only our flesh. Our inner man can actually grow in strength. Inner man, inner woman. 
even though our frame does not. As we are growing in strength in God, we are still able to bear much fruit later into life. Good, tasty, ripe fruit doesn't come to the young baby Christians. It comes to those seasoned, wise souls whose roots are as thick and strong as their branches. I didn't write it. I'm just a messenger. Happy New Year and welcome to 2023.